Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today's video, we're just going to be taking a look at Photoshop and in particular, alternate import methods. Now, in some of my previous videos, I've always used the image sequence option. And I'm aware that not a lot of people have this, um, dealing with whether or not you've got the extended edition, I believe, of Photoshop. So what we're going to do is take a look at how to get your sequences into Photoshop if you don't have that option. Uh, we have two options. The first one is to come down to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. You can either use the folder mode or the files mode. Hit Browse and you can select all your files and hit OK. And Photoshop is going to go ahead and grab all those and it's going to drop them into the list here. And then we'll hit OK. Now what it's going to do is that's going to take each image and bring it in as a separate layer. Now the other way you saw we only had a single layer, but in this case it's going to have to create a layer for each image. So if you're making a larger set of images, this is going to take some time. So once that's finished, you can see all of our layers are showing up here OK. So we're going to come down here to the timeline window and hit create frame animation. Now we're only going to get one frame's going to show, but that's OK because we're going to come over to the drop down or drop up and hit make frames from layers. So that's going to take all the layers that we have and turn them all into frames. The first thing you're going to notice is that the animation is playing backwards. For whatever reason, when it loads it in, it does it the wrong way. So we're going to hit the drop down and say reverse frames. So now it should go ahead and play correctly. The second thing we need to adjust is the frame delay, which is the amount of time between each frame. So I'm going to select all frames, just going to hit any of these go to other and put 0 0.04. This is equivalent to 25 frames per second. If you do 1 divided by 25 you're going to get 0 0.04. So uh, 24 and 25 frames per second will work with this setting. If you have a YouTube video that's perhaps 30 frames a second you can use 0 0.03. So now that we've got that set up and we've got our images in line we can go ahead and save this out and there we go. So that's method number one. Method number two is that if you don't have an image sequence and you have a video, instead we can say file import video frames to layers. And I have a video here that's the same exact scene. It's just compiled as an AVI. Um, on this screen, we're going to say from beginning to end, make frame animation. Don't select this option or else you'll get a choppy set of images. And we're going to hit OK. And there we go. It's already set up as a correct frame animation. You can see it's even got the frame delay. And that one's even a lot easier. We can do our save and go ahead and create this as a GIF. And so there's the two alternate methods. Now as a little bit of bonus footage here, we're going to go ahead and take a look at creating a GIF that's over 500 frames. If anybody's tried to make a large one, you've noticed that there is an internal limit of 500 frames but with a little bit of tricks we can get around that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Import Video Frames to Layers. Um, between these two it's about seven to eight hundred frames. I've pretty much divided it in half. This is roughly 400 frames so I'm going to go ahead and open this one, hit OK, and then if I see this just go ahead and hit Continue. It's going to bring in the video. It's going to go ahead and create all those frames from the layers. And there we go, there's our first half. You can see it goes up to about 400. And I can say File, Import Video Frames again. Choose our second one, hit Open. OK, Continue. And this is going to create a second composition here in Photoshop. And you can see that this resumes where we left off from the previous composition. So what I'm going to do is select all of these frames by hitting the drop down select all frames, hit again, say copy frames, go back to the first comp, click the last frame, hit the drop down, hit paste, and we want to choose paste after selection. So since the last frame was what was selected, it's going to go ahead and paste all those frames at the very end of this. And you'll know when it's done because this slider will go ahead and shift over. And there we go. So this was from our first comp, and you can see it continues right in to the second comp with all the frames. If you scroll to the end, you can see it goes all the way up to 787. So when we go ahead and go to save this out, 
we can see at the bottom here that it will show all of our frames, not just 500. There we go, 787. And there's your 27 megabyte GIF. <laughs> so there's a nice little trick if you'd like to create something over 500 frames. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video.